fall craft with found leaves. The first step is to go outside and look for some leaves that you like. This one might do. Try looking for some different shapes. This big one looks interesting. Keep gathering until you have a nice assortment. Then it's time to bring your leaves inside. Spread them out and take a look at them, and then get your paper and a black crayon. Put your leaf under your paper with the veins facing up. Make sure the corners aren't folded under. Then with the broad side of your crayon, just start rubbing the entire leaf. When you see where the edges are, rub a little harder so that they come out nice and clean. And try to make sure that you don't move the leaf around as you're rubbing. This leaf looks a little bit dry and it has a hole on the side, so I think I'll pick another one. Now we're ready for the next step. Pick any color you want to create a resist on your leaf. A resist is something that repels moisture, like the wax in this crayon. There's really no rule about what color to use or where to color, just do what you want. I decided to use traditional fall colors, but you can use any color, even pink or teal. For the larger leaf, I started just by coloring the larger veins, and eventually I ended up doing all of them. Now it's time to start adding the watercolor. I've tried other paints that are a little bit thicker, and watercolor is really the best kind of paint to use for this project. I 
I used a lot of crayon on this yellow leaf. So the orange paint is going to bubble up a little bit and sit on top, but that's a nice effect too. Now it's time for this big leaf. I'm going to end up using a lot of different colors and blending them all together. One thing about this craft is whatever part you're doing, it's very relaxing. Okay, I'm just about done now. You could leave your project like this with the white background, but I think I'm going to use a bright blue, like the kind you'd see on a clear fall day. And this is what it looks like when it's finished. The blue really makes the fall colors pop out. To make the colors pop out even more, put your artwork up to a window. Another way to make your leaves look very colorful is to cut them out and put them against a black background. Here's another way to decorate your leaf rubbing. Leave the leaf alone and just color the surrounding area. If you want to create the illusion of fall leaves in the air, color in the back side, cut them out, attach them to a piece of thread, and hang them. Have fun crafting, and thanks for watching.